Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. I'm speaking with Greg Johnston. He's the president and CEO of Carl Data Solutions. Welcome to the show, Greg. Thanks, Jim. Can you tell us a bit about Carl Data Solutions, what you're up to, who's involved, and your major projects? Sure, sure. Uh, Carl Data Solutions was uh, was brought about uh, really uh, because of uh, the, the data revolution that's occurring, and that's the uh, the increased amount of, of data that's being produced primarily because of the Internet and the, the Internet of Things, and that's the, the connectivity of all sorts of different devices together. There's uh, billions of records that are being produced, and um, they all need some place to, to go to be stored. And uh, the traditional uh, storage uh, relational database management systems are being overwhelmed. Uh, there's a new wave of applications that, uh, that are required to actually collect and store this data and also uh, provide uh, analytics for, for the users. So Carl Data Solutions was built uh, on uh, new technology, NoSQL technology, uh, which allows us to be infinitely uh, more scalable than other, uh, the older technology, the relational database management uh, technology. And from that, uh, it's templatable as well. So we can, we can, uh, uh, move our applications and, and uh, collect data from many different verticals. Uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't have to come from one particular industry. Rather, we can uh, provide solutions for many industries. Can you maybe mention some of those industries for us? Sure. We 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 got our start, and we're growing by acquisition of companies. Uh, our first acquisition was a company called FlowWorks. Flowworks was uh, very heavily involved in, in in supplying water and wastewater management uh, monitoring, alarming, and analytics solutions to municipalities and civil engineering companies. Uh, we what we did was we purchased uh, Flowworks. We replaced the the back end of their application, which was limiting for them. And we uh, put in our own back-end application, and uh, then the, the customers, uh, what we started to do is release new features to the customers. What this allowed us to do was get much more functionality out of the application, and of course, we're able to now uh, collect more data and sign uh, much larger clients without uh, the fear of latency uh, with uh, our users using the application or uh, the application basically breaking down because of overload, the overload of, of data coming into it. We're also able to put uh, uh, our, our machine learning features, uh, build them right within the application to, to save users uh, time and uh, uh, generally increase uh, operational efficiency across the board. What is big data as a service? Well, big data as a service is the 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 templated back end that we've built uh, to collect all this information that's being uh, generated these days is is not something that a lot of people can just uh, build. There's not a lot of people out there that actually know how to construct these these systems. So it's not like uh, Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle or IBM DB2 where you can build a storage structure uh, that uh, can accommodate uh, this stuff. This, this is completely different. It, re it requires a completely different skill set. Um, our, our group is, is a group of data scientists, and they all work from the, the back-end infrastructure is created from this group. Uh, they're based in Gdansk, Poland. We have uh, six gentlemen uh, that, uh, that are there and work from there, and they've created... Uh, and run and maintain and expand on uh, our machine learning, data analytics, and our, our collection and storage infrastructure. Can you maybe explain what the industrial Internet of Things is and why it's so important to have somebody manage it for you? Sure. Uh, practically everything that's being produced or manufactured these days uh, has sent some sort of sensor on it. So it, it creates... A, it's you've heard. We everybody's heard of smart devices. 
uh, the, the 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 same the same that's, that's happening in the consumer space is also happening in the industrial space. So, so uh, what what's happening is is as the cost of the hardware to to monitor and measure things is coming down, more and more uh, cities, companies, uh, all sorts of different businesses are putting these sensors by purchasing this hardware, putting these sensors and monitoring equipment on their on their into their infrastructure and on their existing equipment to to let them know things like uh, when there's a failure or in the case of predictive analytics in which we provide when there may be a failure in the future based on history or uh, uh, an environmental event or or something that may impact uh, their, their infrastructure. Now, the more and more of these devices that are are being built and generated and put into to, to, to these systems, the, the more there is a need for a system like ours to be able to uh, collect that data and then be able to display or provide actionable insights to the, the end user as opposed to just buying the, the hardware, putting it in place, and then having all that data flow into a log file and expecting uh, uh, an analyst or an engineer or somebody to, to come in and, and uh, make sense of a, a bunch of log files. So it actually interprets the information it gets. It does. It does. It aggregates uh, information from multiple different sources, puts all that information together, and then it displays it uh, to the user in in uh, the format that the that our, our customer wants. So some customers will be using dashboards. Some customers will be using our our, our full on software as a service applications. Other customers uh, would would prefer to just to have a web service. So uh, that's truly a big data as a service operation in which we receive the information, we manipulate to consolidate uh, the data that's coming in, we provide any machine learning algorithms that are required to alter the information, and then. We, we provide the, uh, the customer with a web service to collect that information and import it back right back into their their enterprise system. What kind of industries would Carl Data be good for? Uh, every everything from uh, right right now our focus is is really on in addition to uh, water and water management we're working with uh, in, in mining uh, we, we've just uh, done a, a deal with tech resources to do tailings ponds monitoring uh, we're, we're working with utilities uh, we're working with uh, some oil and gas companies there's lots of different applications uh, for for what we do basically anybody who who collects data uh, data to monitor and protect their infrastructure we can work with it, it it doesn't uh, uh, it, it's not uh, basically confined to one particular vertical. Our guys in, that uh, that build out uh, the, the systems in the back end really uh, aren't confined to their domain expertise isn't confined to one particular category. Rather, for them, data is data, and uh, as long as they as long as they know what's important. To it to the uh, our customers, they they can uh, adjust the system to be able to produce the uh, the results that the customer needs. Every job is a custom job. Not necessarily. So some some are custom. Usually, usually we some most clients require a degree of customization, but for for a lot of customers, just the collection of the data and and the uh, Aggregation of the information in one spot so they can see their data all collected and put into one time series uh, analysis application is enough. It, it's, it's a quantum leap forward for our, for a lot of clients that we, we deal with who haven't been, had the, had the system or the ability to be able to consolidate all their data sources in the past. But I, w- I would say probably about 80% of our clients do require some customization. Have you received any government help of any kind to improve the applications? 
we uh, our our Gdansk office is is fully incorporated, and uh, through through that office, we have received an EU grant for approximately five hundred thousand dollars Canadian. Uh, the the grant is is focusing on anomaly detection. So most of the devices that I I spoke about uh, that are attached to infrastructure have inherent flaws in them, and and the the flaws could be. Uh, batteries going dead that power the sensors, or if it's uh, uh, something measuring stream flow, for instance, a, a stick could get caught into it. But the, these are all things that introduce what we call bias or anomalies into the the data sets that are used to create models that uh, that uh, the engineers produce and the decision makers need to know what's what's going on with their with their their enterprise. Uh, what this uh, this grant is is focusing on uh, is the is the development of an anomaly detection automated anomaly detection algorithm that uh, that we can use to to uh, interpret the information as it comes in and find flag and uh, fix uh, uh, anomalous data and it's it's very exciting because if you think about if, if uh, you think about what uh, most of these people are doing uh, in creating their models, 90% of the time it takes, 90% of the total time is, is actually going through these data sets and, and getting rid of this, uh, this anomalous or biased data. Only 10% of the time is actually done creating the actual model. So what we're doing is, is that we're saving most companies and, and municipalities and water districts, et cetera, a tremendous amount of time by introducing these kinds of features into uh, our system. And we're very excited to be working with um, uh, the, the, the university uh, in, in Gdansk to, to be able to uh, put this in place. That university uh, that, that's close to our office in Gdansk has been working on and studying uh, water systems and uh, sensors to do to, that uh, that that uh, uh, work with water systems for for decades. So we're we're we have great partners in uh, in creating uh, these new features in our applications. I know people who live near mines quite often are worried about how safe the tailing ponds are. Would this make them a lot safer? Yes, the uh, our our application we believe makes uh, makes decreases the risk significantly for 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 tailings ponds and, and mines. The 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 reason is what we do is we take into account uh, dozens of, of uh, different data sets. Uh, we we do, we work with a hydrologist, a civil engineer, to produce uh, uh, an algorithm that uh, that that is is. Uh, uh, focus on uh, one particular area for for that particular site that we're working with, and uh, what we do is is we also provide uh, a lot of different uh, uh, predictive models into the mix, and so we can look seven days into the future, and we can run all the the historical, the current information, and then the future projected or forecasted information, and we can say. Uh, putting all this together uh, up to seven days out, is there going to be a negative impact on the infrastructure? And what that does is it provides the 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 mine site or the the dam operator with uh, with uh, some some advance warning as to whether they have to to move men and equipment around to to make some changes to to uh, to, to be able to. Uh, uh, prepare for for any uh, future event that may impact the uh, uh, the dam. Now, can you use Carl Solutions as well for, say, solid waste management or industrial waste? Uh, absolutely. The uh, as I mentioned before, our our uh, back end infrastructure was built to accommodate any data from from any different source, and so we actually we actually have a pilot project going. With a local company here in Vancouver called Peak Disposal, and what we're doing for them is is uh, giving them uh, insight into how full their uh, solid waste bins are, or their 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 bins, waste bins, and uh, uh, what that allows them to do is they know exactly when these bins need to be emptied. 
this this is a great value to them, of course, because you don't have uh, contractors filling these bins up to 125 percent capacity. Rather, they're they're only filled to 100 percent capacity, and the bins are immediately taken away. It allows the uh, uh, it sh- the the um, solution should allow peak disposal probably to to uh, uh, get a couple of more uh, uh, turns on on the um, uh, on the bins that they're they're renting out to their customers it'll also ensure that they they don't get charged any additional fees for overages when they uh, when they take these uh, these bins to the dump so it looks like you're really concentrated on efficiency and safety Absolutely, operational efficiency and uh, uh, and safety is is uh, risk management are the two things that uh, that we're very uh, interested in. Anything to do with uh, we feel environmental monitoring is, is is where you know you could you can squarely put us, and we're trying to provide a turnkey solution for companies, uh, a company that they can come to. And not have to not have to hire several different companies to put together a solution for them, but rather come directly to us, and, and we'll put the solution in place because we have the hardware and the software and the applications to be able to deliver uh, a turnkey solution for them. Greg, where is Carl Solutions traded, and under what symbols? We we're traded on the uh, the CSE. Uh, symbol CRL. Uh, we're also we're also traded uh, uh, in Frankfurt of uh, the FSE. Symbol number seven C five, and we're traded on the OTC. Uh, and the symbol there is CDTAF. And what's the easiest way to get more information about Carl Data Solutions? Easiest way to get more information on Carl Data Solutions is just to simply email info, I-N-F-O, at carlsolutions.com, and we'll get in touch with you immediately. Greg, thanks for the update. Thanks, Jim. My guest has been Greg Johnston, President and CEO of Carl Data Solutions. We were speaking on December 15th. I'm Jim Gottlieb. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of How Street Media Incorporated.